happened to Vivian Garrett after she disappeared from her comfortable four-bedroom home the night of January 1st? For residents of Abbott's Landing, a small town that nestles up on the Chesapeake Bay and was once the home of Vivian Garrett, the answer is still unclear. One year ago today, Garrett vanished, baffling family members and both local and state police. She said nothing to her children or her husband. Friends say she didn't seem unhappy or panicked. In the media circus that followed in the wake of the investigation, reporters never uncovered a secret lover or a desire to leave her family, but no conclusive physical evidence was ever found. The investigation began on January 4th of the previous year, when a family member alerted police that Garrett had not been seen for three days. Her car, a blue 2005 Nissan Altima, was found abandoned in Willow Creek Park two days later. The disappearance was considered suspicious, since Garrett was said to be a dedicated mother to her four children and had no history of erratic behavior. The woman's husband, biology professor Robert Garrett, was originally arrested a month after her disappearance after a breakdown in his office. In statements to the police, he declared that his wife was gone for good and would never come back. Although Mr. Garrett's responses were often muddled and contradictory, he was released without charge. Abbott's Landing police declined to respond to questions, saying, At this time, we have no information to add to the investigation. Violet sings when she washes the dishes. If I'm drying them, then sometimes I'll harmonize. She'll go. Down to the river. And it sounds like. As I went down to the river to pray. Studying about that good old way. Last February, I came downstairs one morning and all the photos were gone from the fridge. The one of Merle eating ice cream on her first birthday. The one of all of us on Halloween five years back. The one of mom and Crab as a puppy. Like they'd never been there. There's great great grandma Prue. Well, well, great, 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 okay, I don't, I don't remember how many grades exactly. Maybe she looks so pissed because no one can ever remember. Or maybe because she has no teeth? When I have my own dishes, they'll be pale white and always washed and put away. I haven't seen Dad sleep here for months. This bed might as well be a part of an Ikea ad for all the use it gets. Oh, hey. It's our Celtic horoscopes. Mom had us all get these done a few years ago. She was very into them for a while. I think horoscopes are a pile of goose poop. All dad really needs is a toothbrush and a razor. Mom always had the driest skin. When we were little, Vi and I would play sardines with our cousins. This used to be my favorite hiding spot. I'd curl up, cover myself with dirty shirts and dresses, and try so hard not to make a sound. It always worked. I haven't been in here since she disappeared. It's so strange. It smells like her.
Sometimes I wish Dad would dress the way I imagine an Oxford professor looks. Nice tweed blazers, snappy corduroy pants, that kind of thing. But khakis are fine too. Only in this house would recycling end up in a closet. Hard at work in the pursuit of scientific discovery, huh? I'm being a forensic scientist. That means I solve crimes. It's really cool. Tell me what kind of case you're solving. You know how much I love strawberry yogurt, right? And how I've told everybody not to eat it? Well, this morning I went to get some out of the fridge, but there was only one left. And yesterday morning, there were three. I thought that if I sprinkled fingerprint powder over the last yogurt and figured out which prints weren't mine, then I'd know who ate the rest. That's brilliant. You'll be the next Sherlock Holmes, I know it. <clears throat> it's elementary, my dear Watson. That was in one of the Sherlock movies. So who did it? I'm not sure yet. See, I have to get fingerprint samples from everybody else. I got Dad and Vi to give me samples this morning, and, and they didn't match. So it was either Merle, or it was you. It was me. So it was you! I had a feeling. Merle doesn't even like yogurt. But why did you eat it? We ran out of blackberry jelly a few days ago, so I couldn't make toast and just ate yogurt instead. Sorry, bud. I should have asked. It's okay. I still get to solve a mystery. I wonder what other ways I can use these fingerprints. When I was in elementary and middle school, I always disliked science classes the most. It felt as if the teachers wanted a single answer every time. That frustrated me. Why is it you like so much about science? It isn't that I like science itself, really. It's just logic. Forensics, chemistry, biology, it all makes sense. As long as you're looking carefully at every detail. There are so many things that don't make any sense at all. I won't disagree with you there. Still, don't take being good at something for granted, Gus. What else is up? Are you trying to talk to me about Mom? How did you know? Logic. I already saw the article in the paper this morning. Dad's been even more distant than usual. And your voice is all funny. Like... You're not sure about something. And those three things make me think that you want to ask me about Mom. <sighs> You're right. Sometimes you amaze me, Gus. Thanks. What did you want to ask, specifically? What do you think happened to her? I've thought about this a lot. It's forensics, right? It's a puzzle I want to solve. But... I also don't want to solve it, because it's my own family. Fact. Her car disappeared and was found abandoned somewhere else. Fact. She was sad sometimes. Fact. She left for days at a time and would come back crying. Fact. After Dad, there haven't been any suspects. What I think... I think she killed herself. Don't say that. You think I don't realize that people do that when they're not happy? I'm little, and I'm quiet, and sometimes people forget about me. But you know I'm not dumb. You're not dumb, but you're being a pessimist. I'm not trying to be a pessimist. This is just what I've thought about. I understand. 
It's all right. You're the most like her, you know, out of all of us. She knew what she wanted, and she wasn't afraid to be different. I always liked that about her. Yeah, I remember. You know the painting of hers downstairs? The one she did herself? I've stared at it for hours so that it's in my brain. So that I'll never forget what she looked like. Looks like, not looked like. <sighs> okay. Let's talk about something else. So are you ready to go back to school? I guess I am. We're going to start learning about ecology and local food chains and science. And we're reading To Kill a Mockingbird for English over break. I finished it yesterday. It's awesome. I hear a but. I just... Well, there aren't a lot of people I talk to at school. It's a little lonely, honestly. I know that's hard, but who needs friends when you have family, right? Kind of like how Scout and Jem have each other in To Kill a Mockingbird. But then, they also have Dill. I don't have any friends like that. Remember that crystal growing kit I got for my birthday? All the pictures on the box are of two people making the crystal solution and smiling and laughing. So, I wanted someone else to do it with. I'm a little busy today. Why don't you ask Merle or Vi? Vi's no fun. She's gotten so angry this year. And Merle breaks all my fragile stuff. Hmm, that's true. I'll keep thinking about it. I'll talk to you in a little bit. Keep up the good detective work, all right, Dr. Garrett? <laughs> you bet I will. Hey, don't look at that! So, you want to be an actor, huh? Hey, what's wrong with wanting to be in a play? Nothing at all. I just didn't know you were interested. I wasn't, really. I just thought it would be a good way to make friends. And I heard Sydney Peters say that she was going to audition. And she's very pretty. You have a crush on Sydney Peters? No, no, not a crush. She's just, I, I think she'd make a great actress. And I, oh, just don't tell anyone. So why do you want to be Dogberry? He's not the main character. You could, you could try out for Benedict or Claudio. Because he saves the day in the end. He figures out the evil plot, even if he's not very good at it, most of the time. And I get to pretend to be old and gray. <clears throat> I am a wise fellow, and which is more, an officer, and which is more, a householder, and which is more, as pretty a piece of flesh as any in Messina, <laughs> and one that knows the law. <laughs> Maybe you should work on growing facial hair first. Hey, I could shave if I wanted to, which I don't. All right. Well, good luck on the audition, okay? Thanks. I'll talk to you in a little bit. I like my potatoes mashed. Gus likes his serving as galvanic cells for a clock. Grandma made that for Gus's 10th birthday. She'd never say it, but Gus is her favorite. None of the rest of us ever got quilts. A few months ago...
It's also very... pink. But it suits her. Number four, her lucky number. I remember this book. It was Dad's, I think, when he was little. And this is the poem about two sisters who find a fairy market, and Laura eats the goblin men's fruit and almost dies. I can't believe they ever thought this was for kids. That ink looks old. I wonder if Dad was the one who underlined that last part. It's January 1st. The deadline's tonight. All my applications are done. They just have to be submitted. Shouldn't forget about that. This is for the linguistics mini-unit we're doing in my Spanish language class. We were supposed to take a common word and find as many different translations for it in various languages as possible. I chose home. Click your heels three times. Oh my god. I guess it's an open secret that none of us were living with Dad for a while. I try to remember to put an instrument case sticker in her stocking every Christmas. Like, real women play the violin. Or, in case of emergency, save the violin first. They're cheesy, but she likes them, I think. There are still bloodstains there from the time I tripped and hit my head on the front walk. That was 10 years ago. That's Gus's backpack. Argus Robert Garrett. When he was really little, we used to tell him he was adopted, that he'd been bound on an abandoned pirate ship and that the pirate king and queen would come back for him someday. His initials were the clue they'd left. Funny. He's the least pirate-like out of all of us. Hey, Dad. Oh, Lena. I didn't realize you'd come in here. What's going on? You know what today is? January 1st. A Saturday. Yes, I know what it is. Do you think she'll come back? If she were coming back, she'd have done it by now. I'm sorry. I don't mean to be harsh. I know you all don't necessarily think that way. She's gone, Lena. And she isn't coming back. I'm not just giving up on her. I don't want to be a killjoy, dear. I really don't. But it's going to save you so much grief if you forget about it. It's not giving up. How could I possibly forget about this? Please, just listen to me. We've lost her. 
She's never coming back. This is not pessimism. It's looking at the facts. Are there facts you know that the rest of us don't? I won't lie to you. Yes. But you would never believe me. You can't know that until you tell me. No. They ran an article in the paper about it. Did you see it? Oh, no. I, I don't really read the paper so much anymore. Why don't you just recycle it? Your siblings don't need to see that. I'm not stopping them from reading it. <sighs> no, I suppose you aren't. I don't mean to be rude, but Vi and Gus and Merle are old enough to make up their own minds. They're children. Do you think I'm a child then? I... No. You're almost an adult, and Violet's not so far away from being one either. Maybe you have a point. How was work today? It went fine. The students are still out on Christmas break, so it was just me this morning, entering migration data. We've had 50 of our tagged swans return so far. That's unusual. Far fewer than normal. They look so beautiful out there in the bay, but sad, like they're waiting for something. Yes, I've always thought that. That's why I prefer to track the swan population, and nothing like black-headed gulls or Harris's sparrows. But I'm sure you didn't want to talk to me about sparrows. You should be home on a Saturday. With us. It's not my responsibility to be watching Merle and Gus. Pardon. It isn't your responsibility. It is now. Whether you see it that way or not. Lena, I know you mean well, but please understand. This year has been so hard. I'm trying to deal with it the best that I can. Do you see that? You're a father, not just a professor. And I take both roles very seriously. Let's not pick a fight. I'll think about what you said. I'll let you get back to work. Thanks. Oh, oh, before you go, have you seen my phone? I think I I lost it yesterday. Isn't your spare office key still missing, too? Yes, it is, but... Wait, are you trying to say that I misplace things easily? That's exactly what I'm saying. Ah, well, you may have a point. I told Merle not to eat her snack outside the kitchen. She always gets it everywhere. It's locked for a reason, Lena. That's my space. A family member alerted police that Garrett hadn't been seen in three days. Yeah, that was me. Mom. Last February. We have. McFarland's next. Mom kept an herb garden here. She might have been a terrible cook, but we always had fresh basil for our pasta. And fresh rosemary. And lavender. And mint.
I was only three when we got crab. Mom said we used to roll around in the backyard like a pair of puppies. Bluebirds are... We never... Re this thing is so stuck it won't budge. I'll need something to oil the latch. WD-40 maybe? Do you know where the WD-40 is? WD-40? Why? The gate's stuck. It's been sticking for a while, but someone must have slammed it and gotten it jammed. Oh, I hadn't noticed. Huh. You could check the kitchen. It might be in there. Or in the hall closet upstairs. Although it wouldn't surprise me if Gus had it in his room for one of his experiments. Ah, good places to start the search. Thanks, Dad. I'll let you get back to work. There it is! What's underneath the WD-40? Damn. I didn't know Dad kept a journal. Maybe there are more parts lying around. There are still blood st Yes. That should do it. In the summer, this lot would be filled up with people coming to fish or sunbathe or play pickup soccer games. But the crowd drops off during the winter. People huddle in their houses, like rabbits, sort of. The water always tastes a little bit like iron, a little bit like blood. I can't believe it. They left the door unlocked. The storm last night must have blown it open. I think Mom said this used to be one of the outbuildings that belonged to Tintagel, the Simmons estate. They repurposed it to be volunteer headquarters. It's not that big. But there are never very many volunteers. If you come in at least one day... She always bought organic bug spray.
Another part of Dad's journal. Did Mom put this here before she disappeared? This was a gift from Mom to the volunteers. It's her favorite poem. All Yeats is fairies, glimmering midnights. Man, she loves that stuff. That's where they keep all the equipment. And rakes, hoes, trash pickers, wheelbarrows, that kind of thing. Bathrooms are the side. Someone dropped their wait, isn't that dad's? Maybe I should call Sasha and ask what this was all about. What do you want? Sasha? It's me, Lena, not my dad. I'm just calling from his phone. Lena? It's so good to hear your voice. It's been a long time. Why are you calling from Robert's phone? Is something wrong? Did he... No, no, nothing is wrong. I found Dad's phone out by the memorial wall. He dropped it. He was in a hurry, I think. But I just wanted to talk to you. Oh. Well, I... Of course. Anything. Is this because you saw our conversation? Yeah. He's just a person, Sasha. He wasn't doing anything wrong, being out here. Look, I... Yes, he is a person, but one who has a lot to answer for, and he hasn't even begun answering for it yet. What is it you think he did to my mother? Isn't it obvious to you what he'd... <sighs> Lena, Vivian was my best friend. You're her little girl, and I would fight for you just like I'd fight for Sarah if she were ever in any trouble. I know your dad doesn't like me to talk to you much anymore. He said that? Honey, why else would I stay away from your house like I have been? I'm afraid for you. All four of you, because I don't know if your father drove your mother away or if he, he hurt her, but he's not a normal man. The pain he caused your mother. You can't just go hurling around accusations like that. Let me explain. Did your mom ever tell you how we met? No. You would have been, oh, seven? Chris had just dumped me and I was still looking for a job, but Sarah was too then. Growing so fast still, I couldn't figure out how I was going to buy clothes for her. I don't know how Viv found out, but one day she showed up on my porch with a box of baby clothes. What you and Violet used to wear. After that, you couldn't pry me off Viv's side if you tried. I got her to start coming out here, to the park. But then Viv started to change, to get depressed. Her marriage to your dad, she wasn't happy when all was said and done. 
And no wonder. He was so controlling, saying she couldn't get a real job, saying she couldn't get another dog after Crab died. It, it was like he wanted her all to himself. I didn't know that. Did you know she took sleeping pills for a long time? Because she'd lie awake at night, and sometimes she'd call me at one or two in the morning and tell me to talk to her so she didn't do something. Like what? You know, something she'd regret. She never would have done it, though. She just needed to leave Robert. We'd been talking that over when she disappeared. Sasha, are you sure she wasn't capable of killing herself? Look, I don't know. It's been a year now. I keep going back and forth. Clara, did you just drop that mug? Sorry, Mom! No, I told you not to. I'm sorry, Lena. I have to go. Maybe I shouldn't have been telling you all this anyway, but I miss you. Tell your sisters and brother I love them. And call me back sometime from your phone, okay?